Hello there. I've returned to the UK for a couple of days and I've taken the opportunity to visit one of my old fishing locations, but not for fishing, I'm afraid. We are at Hanningfield Reservoir, South Hanningfield, Essex, which is in the southeast of England. The reservoir has around 35 motorised boats for hire and two wheelie boats for anglers with mobility problems. I have, in the past, fished many competitions here. I was the competition secretary and sometime captain of Hanningfield Phoenix fly fishing team, who were based at the reservoir. The reservoir surface covers around 350 hectares, and there is a nature discovery park in the surrounding woodland. The reservoir is stocked with mainly rainbow trout, and approximately 51,000 fish are stocked throughout the year at an average weight of 700 grams, which is around one and a half pounds. During the season, on the way to 6,000 fish are stocked each month. Of course, there are many large trout that lurk in its depths, and just recently one of the rangers who is new to fly fishing had the good fortune to land a 16 pound specimen, a lucky lad, which is around seven and a quarter kilograms. In recent years, fly fishing has taken a bit of a back seat to other activities, but this year has seen a revival in fly fishing at the reservoir and this may be due to the head ranger, Will Hunt, who is an accomplished fly angler and instructor. Fishing is permitted from either bank or boat, and the location is well worth a visit. So if any of you find yourself in this part of the UK, don't hesitate to contact Will, or in his absence, one of the other rangers, who will be pleased to assist you in any way that they can. I'll put the contact telephone number in the video description below. Hello once again and welcome to the channel. I hope you've taken the opportunity to view the two minute video about Hanningfield Reservoir. And today I'm going to continue the theme and tie a nymph for Hanningfield. Now this is not a Hanningfield nymph. This is a nymph for Hanningfield. Although I'm sure that it will be absolutely appropriate for most still waters and can be adapted for the river. So let's get into the tying. In the vise I have a size 12 nymph hook and I'm going to be tying with claret, wine, bordeaux, whichever colour you'd like to call it, thread. And I'm just going to start the tying about a mil behind the eye and trim up the excess thread. Now, when I was walking around Hanningfield, I discovered this feather. Now, I think it's a tail feather from either a kestrel or a buzzard, and I'm going to incorporate this into the fly as a tail feather. So I'm just going to take out some, uh, some fibers. Now, you can use any fibers that you like, providing that they have uh, some sort of barring. Uh, I suppose you could use Coq de Lyon. Uh, you could use uh, maybe a Cree feather. But as this is from Hanningfield, I'm going to utilize what I found. As long as the feather is medium stiff, or the fiber should I say, it'll be totally appropriate. Now for the rib, I'm going to use uh, some claret uh, tinsel. This is holographic. Um, it happens to be Madeira, but you can use any color that you like. Uh, note that it's not red. I'm going to tie that in. and bind it down and just trim up the excess. Keep it neat and back down to the rear of the fly. Right now for the body of the fly, I'm going to use a claret wine Bordeaux pheasant tail, obviously dyed. And I'm going to take off five or six fibers 
just going to tear them off and trim up the end. And I'm going to tie it in by the base of the fibers. And tie that down up to the thorax area. Right now, before I wind this on, I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue onto the uh, top of the fly to hold the fibers in place and to strengthen them. And then you had some of the towel then as well. So just uh, tight wraps up the body. Up to the thorax area. And tie off the fibers. And trim up the excess. Right now, before I tie on the uh, the tinsel for the rib, I'm just going to give that a dab of glue also, just to keep it in place. And wind up the rib. And tie off the tinsel. Just tidy up this area a little. Right now for the thorax, I'm going to use some uh, some UV hair's ear. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it, which is ideal for rainbow trout, of course. But uh, the brown trout will not be adverse to the uh, UV hair's ear. Just make a nice dubbing rope and wind that on. Just going to put a little bit more on there. And pull back those fibers. And tidy up. Now I'm going to brush out the uh, hairs here just a little. Yeah. Now at the front, I'm going to add uh, a woodcock feather uh, as a collar. Uh, they're fairly simple. Just take off all of the fluff from the bottom of the feather. Um, try and find one that's uh, fairly well marked and you should end up with something like that and I'm just going to hold it by the point and pull back the longer fibers now I have to be honest with you here the woodcock fibers and the feather can be quite fragile so I have got another one ready to go should I need it as I start to turn it on. So I'm just going to trim up that little bit of excess butt there. And wind on the feather. Now one, possibly two turns is all you'll need. Depending how bushy you like your collars, but I think two is enough. I'll just tie that off. There. And I'll trim up the excess feather. And put all these fibers back.
create uh, a nice head on the fly and tie it off. and trim up the tying thread. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, UV onto the head. Take your time. And give that a zap. And make sure that the eye is clear. And there you have the finished fly. Uh, I'm totally convinced that this can be adapted for the river. Now you may wish to tie uh, a weighted version and this is uh, more so for the river, although of course it could work in the lake. I am uh, more inclined to use uh, sinking lines or different weighted lines in reservoirs to create the sort of depth that I'm looking for. So there you have a nymph for Hanningfield. I hope you enjoyed the tying. Uh, if you have the opportunity, visit the reservoir. Plenty of fish there to be caught, and I'm sure you'll have a good day. Thanks very much for viewing, and uh, do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.